on a warm summer's eve on a train bound for nowhere I met up with a gambler we were both too tired to sleep so we took turns staring out the window at the darkness the boredom overtook us and he began to speak from Sonic 1029 and I'm indebted to my boss for my job and I'm in debt to my boss $600. In the span of two years it started with a simple scoring race between two players Jerome McGinley and Danny Heatley. Then it became a bet between two teams then two more teams and two more teams and two more teams, and two more teams, and you get my drift. It was double or nothing each time, and now Al is wanting to cash in. <laughs> and we both know that I can't afford that kind of cash. Nonetheless, my boss is relentless on getting his money. Rick. Rick, are you going to pay me? Rick, yeah. are you going to pay me? Yeah, I'm pretty tight on cash right now. Just about to take public transit. Yeah, I'm just about to go home. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can't get you. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Talk to you later. Rick, you have my money yet? I don't know if I told you this or whatnot, but I had to renegotiate my mortgage and downsize my condo. Yeah, I'm in a new place now, so I, I don't think I can pay you. Uh-huh. Yeah, awesome. Rick, when are you going to pay me by 600 bucks? Yeah, actually, I'm busy right now. Yeah, I'm doing laundry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't pay you. I'm sorry. So I'm not kind of busy. Okay. At the end of the day, sometimes you have to face the facts, admit defeat, and accept the consequences. The best things in life are free, but you can keep them both. Hi, welcome to ADAC. Uh, I have a gambling problem. We're here to help. Would you like to go double or nothing that I'll get through at least one counseling session? Sir, I don't think we can do that.